Hey, tech wizards and gaming enthusiasts, welcome back to our digital playground. Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's been buzzing around the gaming world, the rumored PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, this isn't just another console update story. No, this one's steeped in controversy and has developers and gamers alike scratching their heads. So let's break down what's going on, why it matters, and what it could mean for the future of gaming. The PS5 Pro Puzzle Unraveling Developer Concerns Just recently, Michael Harridans shed some light on a fascinating discourse taking place among game developers. At this year's Game Developers Conference GDC, a significant sentiment was echoed, why on earth is the PS5 Pro happening? According to Games Industry Biz's Christopher Dring, several developers are baffled by Sony's push for a mid-cycle refresh. The consensus, many feel they haven't even begun to tap into the full potential of the original PS5. The developer's dilemma, untapped potential. Developers are at the heart of console ecosystems, crafting the experiences that define a generation. So when they say they're not really making the most out of the PS5, it's a statement that carries weight. The question arises, if the PS5's capabilities remain largely unexplored, what's driving the move towards a Pro version? The PS5 Pro, what's on the horizon? Despite the lack of an official announcement from Sony, leaks about the PS5 Pro's specs have been making waves. The rumored highlights, a focus on 4K at 120fps and even 8K at 60fps gaming thanks to PlayStation's spectral super resolution and a GPU that blends RDNA 3 and 4 architecture. Yet developers question the necessity of such a leap when the current PS5's prowess is still to be fully realized. Backward compatibility, a glimpse into Sony's strategy. One intriguing piece of the puzzle is the PS5 Pro's speculated emphasis on backward compatibility with the upcoming PS6. This suggests Sony is thinking long-term, ensuring a seamless transition between console generations. But at what cost? Some developers argue that focusing on harnessing the PS5's existing capabilities should take precedence over hardware upgrades. Market movement or stagnation? The move towards a PS5 Pro raises broader questions about the gaming industry's trajectory. Are we witnessing an era of rapid technological advancements, or is this a push for innovation that overshadows the need for original, groundbreaking software? Critics argue that the focus should shift towards maximizing the current hardware through unique gaming experiences rather than pushing for new consoles that may offer marginal improvements at best what this means for gamers and the future. For gamers, the PS5 Pro rumors are a double-edged sword. On one hand, the prospect of enhanced performance and graphics is tantalizing. On the other, the necessity and timing of such an upgrade, especially when the full capabilities of the PS5 remain untapped, are valid concerns. This discourse opens up a broader conversation about the pace of technological evolution in gaming and the balance between hardware and software innovation. Wrapping up, a console conundrum. As we stand on the cusp of potentially welcoming the PS5 Pro into our lives, the debate rages on. Is this the next big leap in gaming or a premature push towards a future that's yet to be fully imagined? What's clear is that developers and gamers alike are yearning for a focus on creative, boundary-pushing games that truly exploit the hardware's potential rather than just a new piece of tech. So, what do you think? Is the PS5 Pro a necessary evolution or should we pause and explore the depths of what the PS5 has to offer? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's navigate this digital odyssey together. Until next time, keep gaming, keep questioning, and never settle for less than extraordinary.